the fern life cycle begins when haploid spores are produced from the meiosis which occurred in the spore mother cell in the sporangium of the sporocyte. These haploid spores germinate and undergo mitosis to produce a free-living photosynthetic gametophyte. This gametophyte, however, is rather small, typically only a few millimeters in size. The gametophyte individuals develop gametangia, the archegonia, and antheridia. Because the gametophyte is so small, in many cases, an individual fertilizes itself. However, if the gametophyte is self-sterile, or if it produces archegonia and antheridia at different times, this would ensure outcrossing. The sperm from the antheridia are flagellated and therefore must be in the presence of water in order for them to swim to fertilize the ovum in the archegonium. This then forms a diploid zygote, the first cell of the sporophyte generation. The diploid zygote is the first cell of the diploid sporophyte generation. This zygote undergoes mitosis, producing an underground stem known as a rhizome, from which multiple leaves or fronds erupt. This is the recognizable fern, and it is the sporophyte generation which is the dominant generation in the fern life cycle. The sporophyte leaves produce sporangia. These can vary in their position, typically on the back of the leaves, but they can be located in the middle of the leaves in non-photosynthetic regions, or on their own leaves dedicated to the production of sporangia. Meiosis occurs inside the sporangia to produce haploid spores, which will give rise to another haploid generation.